Imagine there's a movie critics are so afraid of that they just won't review it. Imagine movie theater employees actively plotting to sabotage your ability to see a movie. Uh, imagine the movie that is that causes so much controversy, you just have to see it yourself. Do you think this is some McCarthy era craziness? Is it the height of the Red Scare? No, it's 2024 and the movie is Matt Walsh's Am I Racist? In this episode, I'll give you my honest review and let you know if you should see the movie or if it's just a load of conservative nonsense. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Wendy and welcome back to Bible and the Geek. On this show, we examine pop culture through the lens of the Christian faith. Welcome. So DEI has been a hot topic in the online space for a few years now. While the initiatives are not new, there was a renewed interest in them during the pandemic as the nation grappled with the aftermath of the deaths of George Floyd, Armand Aubrey, and Breonna Taylor. This already fueled the fire of the reaction of the f deaths of Freddie Gray, Michael Brown, and Eric Garner. Coupled with a pandemic and folks on lockdown, the country had had enough and erupted into a powder keg of protests dividing the country on the issue of Black Lives Matter. Now this is this episode isn't about Black Lives Matter um, or the movement or whatever. You can research that on your own. But it is important to understand the environment with which DEI was allowed to flourish and has steadily grown and now increasingly has backlash. In 2024, uh, this year, the Supreme Court ended affirmative action in higher education and many corporations dropped their DEI efforts, like I said. And, but racism seems to be alive and well in the United States. Or is it? At least that's what the DEI people will have you believe. I'll admit, I wasn't going to see the latest Matt Walsh movie. I don't really watch his YouTube channel and I never saw What is a Woman, mainly because... I heard about it way, way after the fact, and I just don't have a Daily Wire Plus subscription. So after watching the uproar on Twitter, well, X formerly known as Twitter, and seeing clips in the trailer on YouTube, I decided it was only fair of me to judge the movie for myself. And the only way I could do that was to go see the movie. You know, have an informed opinion. <laughs> I even asked people on X which parts of the movie were racist and they couldn't tell me. It was clear they had not seen the movie and were simply outraged because someone else was outraged. So two weeks ago, my husband and I went to see the movie. I bought the matinee tickets online and drove almost half an hour to the nearest theater showing the movie. Since I live in Florida, there were quite a few theaters to choose from, so this was not a hard movie to find. I always buy my tickets online in advance, which is good because apparently on Reddit, there were movie theater employees actively trying to prevent people from buying tickets in the first place. Seems oddly inappropriate to me, but uh, okay. With tickets in hand, we proceeded to our theater. No friction from employees, no misdirection from those plotting against the movie or anything like that. We were the only ones in the theater for a while and by the time the preview started, there were probably 10 to 15 more people in the theater. And yes, I was the only black person in the theater. That's okay. The movie that followed was a hilarious look at what DEI has become. And if you're not familiar, DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And apparently now there is a fourth letter in this. So the letters have been, have been rearranged to spell the word Jedi. So the J has been added um, to stand for the word justice. So justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. That is, <laughs> that is the new acronym. And it has become synonymous with basically telling white people that they're racist, that there's nothing they can do about it, and that the system involves paying thousands of dollars for an expert to help them decenter their whiteness. Oh yeah, all things white are bad and all things ethnic are superior. That's the gist of DEI as explored in the film. Now Matt Walsh is not putting words in anyone's mouth here. 
as he interviews top names in the DEI space, including Robin DiAngelo, author of White Fragility, he allows them enough rope to hang themselves. It's their own words that are convicting and really expose the nonsense that some of these people pass off as legit. Whether it's being upset that your white child chooses a Disney princess that looked like her rather than a princess of color, or making white women cry that they're racist just because they're white, it's clear that DEI has gone way off the rails. What likely started as an effort with goals in place to diversify workplaces has devolved into a shell game of beating down white people to make them feel bad for being white. In the movie, Matt goes undercover for most of these interviews and segments in order to get people's honest reactions and true words. This isn't to bait them or anything like that. He found out early on in the movie that people wouldn't be honest if they knew who he was. Ill-fitting wig aside, he was able to comically and hysterically shine a light on the absurdity of these experts. While I won't spoil the movie for you, let me just tell you that I appreciated the honest look at DEI. I don't work in corporate America and never had to take such training, but it doesn't make sense to me as a black woman or a Christian to want to celebrate something that is designed to make someone feel bad for something that is not their fault. Why should I be looking for racists around every corner? Why assume all white people are racist? Why assume that I am inherently better because I'm not white? And it's not to say that there aren't racists in this world. Certainly there are. But I don't go looking for microaggressions everywhere I go. I just don't have the energy for that, nor do I have the time. None of this makes any sense to me. Not because I'm colorblind. Certainly I see and celebrate the people's differences. No, it doesn't make sense because I strive to see people as God does. See, that's the point here. As human beings, we are created in the image of God, Imago Dei. And I know that if I keep that thought in my head and heart, then I will be more likely to treat others with the love and respect they are due as image bearers of God. Does that mean I have to agree with everyone or even be nice to everyone? No, Jesus wasn't always nice, polite, or soft-spoken. But it does mean First, loving God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then loving my neighbor as myself. You see, there's a reason the greatest commandment is to love God first. It is that sacrificial love, the love that stood in the gap for us while we were still sinners, that allows us to stand before God and hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. But when we get caught up in identity politics and bashing one group in favor of another, especially for money, then we are not loving our neighbors as ourselves. By the way, my favorite parts of the movie are when Matt Walsh spoke to real people who aren't so far left to get their take on the state of racism in America. And as for the amount these experts were paid to appear in the movie, I'm not mad about it. People should be paid for their expertise. If they really believe what they are teaching, then it's not a grift. A grift would be if they peddled something they didn't believe in and were acting in deception. The scary part is that these people on the far left probably really believe what they are selling in the form of DEI. So what's the solution here? I'm not sure, honestly, but I'm fairly certain that it involves celebrating the inherent dignity and worth of each person regardless of race or ethnicity. After all, what good is it to lift someone up if it means you have to trample on someone else to do it? Does racism exist? Yes. Is this movie racist? No. Should you see it? Yes. So you can make up your own mind. Matt Walsh sums it up well towards the end of the movie when he says this is about the DEI, when he says this about the DEI industry. They are selling us a disease for which there is no cure. Beware of wolves coming in sheep's clothing who want nothing better than to tear down others for profit. Think critically and also remember that we are all made in the image of God. Have you seen the movie? 
Well, let me know in the comments of the YouTube channel, especially if you're listening to this on audio. And if you didn't see it, why not? Let's have a discussion. Remember, keep it civil in the comments section. So that's all for today's episode. You can always visit the blog post or show notes for more information and links to resources. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.